New tonight, parents and kids in Hartford County are crushed after learning upcoming sports tournaments are canceled due to COVID. The decision was made today by the county executive. WMAR 2 News' Ray Strickland joins us live now from Falston. And Ray, you spoke with a parent whose son was set to play in a lacrosse tournament this weekend. Yes, Jamie, this parent I spoke to says she understands the need for new coronavirus restrictions, but like so many other parents, she's also worried about the long-term effects they could have on her kids. Mandy White has two kids, one in third grade, the other in fifth. This week, both attended their first and potentially their last day of in-person learning for the semester. Monday afternoon, county schools decided to go fully virtual due to rising COVID-19 cases. White says her family was just hit with a double whammy. Her son was set to play in a lacrosse tournament this weekend and had a soccer tournament coming up. Both sporting events are now canceled under new restrictions by the county executive that included suspending the use of county fields for outdoor sporting events. Within a week, within four days time, we've had all of that taken away for our kids. And it makes me really sad and I can tell that it makes them really sad. Our numbers are increasing every day. The county's positivity rate is above 7% for the first time since June. The county also set a pandemic high with a seven day average of more than 25 cases per 100,000 people. To control the spread, County Executive Barry Glassman is reactivating the county's pandemic response. Starting Friday at 5 p.m., all county buildings will be closed and county employees will work from home. Glassman also announced indoor activities at parks and rec facilities will be suspended. We're in a danger zone and we've got to kind of double down and protect ourselves. White says she's also concerned about the rising case numbers, but she says she's just as worried about the impact these restrictions could have on her kids. And I don't want to belittle COVID and the surge that's happening, but at the same time, I think we need to understand those long-term effects and how it's going to affect our children too. Now, I reached out to the spokesperson at the Hartford County Health Department who told me sporting events are one of the top 10 uh, contributors for the spread of COVID-19. It's why the county is urging people to avoid large groups, especially this holiday season. Live in Faustin tonight, Ray Strickland, WMAR 2 News. All right, Ray, thank